So I'm on a hunt for some yellow cedar burl and the start of this hunt is going into Canada. So I'm here at the border of Canada and the USA. I'm here with my friend Kent Bush. Say hi Kent. Hi Brent. <laughs> it's been a long wet drive up. <laughs> it has been. I should have got some of the pictures of all that rain that we were coming through but uh, so here we are, we're hoping we're going to be able to just come right back through this border later on with all the wood, but uh, uh, who knows what's going to happen. We might have more adventures before this day is out, but uh, we'll see. Anyways, so here we are at the border of uh, the U.S. and Canada, and we're going we're gonna to come through here in just a minute. Well, we're in the city of Vancouver and wow it's crazy city we're looking for the ferry terminal we've been kind of lost for a while so I forgot to take some video because we got lost we got hung up at the at the border the uh, I took a bit of video I think that might have what got a what's uh, got us hung up at the ferry terminal because I took some video and so uh, they made me delete the video that I took they said you can't take video at the ferry or at the border crossing. They got all they got all mad at me, right? Yeah, yeah, it wasn't good. So almost got thrown in jail, eh? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it was scary, bro. <laughs> so, so we uh, we had to we had to you know head out. Anyways, spent a lot longer at the border than we wanted to, but now we're back on the road here in Vancouver. We're looking for some road, I can't remember. Georgia. We're looking, Georgia. We're looking for Georgia. Vancouver, BC, British Columbia. It's a beautiful day down here. It was raining like crazy in Washington. The sun's shining up here in Vancouver. It's really pretty. You just nuts are. Well, we think we're on the right track. So, crossing the cool bridge. You have no idea what bridge it is, but come on, it's cool. So, shoot some of that down there. Wow. It's a beautiful day. You know, in BC. Sometimes hunting this wood is worth the hunt. <laughs> Even if you don't get the wood, it might be worth the hunt. But yeah. I hate saying that. Knock on plastic. <laughs> Let's get the wood. <laughs> you definitely want to get this wood. This yellow cedar burl is it is the hardest wood for me to find. And I've got I hunt for this wood, look for it, hunt for it. It takes years to get, years to find. And, uh, I know some people think it's salesmanship when I talk about how difficult it is to find. They think I'm just telling stories or when I tell them how rare it is, they think it's just a, a salesmanship game. It's not. It is. It's, it is extremely rare and valuable wood. It's something that you just do not find uh, on a regular basis. And and I value it very highly because because of what it is and, and how beautiful it is. Well, we finally find the, found the, uh, the Highway 1 freeway. We had to turn on my, uh, my roaming data on my iPhone, and I wasn't wanting to turn that on because of the, uh, the cost in doing that, but, uh, but just had to do it. It's just, it was uh, just too hard to get around up here without having the GPS and asking directions just was not working so so we turned on the GPS and turned on the data plan regardless of the cost we just had to have the data plan 
So I guess we would have failed if we were on on the uh, amazing race. We would have we would have lost. Anyways, we're on track now. We're gonna get there and get the wood, and uh, so we're heading to Horseshoe Bay and gonna get across there and see what we can see. We're here at the ferry terminal and after a comedy of errors <laughs> it has been one set of events after another. Damn near didn't get off at the uh, right exit and uh, but we did. Looks like the boats are in. Okay, here we are. Well, on the boat we go. finally found our way to uh, to Reg here and to the wood. Wow. I'm seeing it for the first time. This is uh, the largest batch of yellow cedar burrows I have ever seen in one place. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, it was a true fluke. Yeah, no there's, kidding, there's, right? There's, there's none around. No. No. Fantastic. Awesome. Awesome. Well, we'll have fun digging through this, finding out what we got, and uh, seeing what's down here. There's a nice piece of bird. Oh, yeah, look at that. Yeah. yeah, look at that. That's lovely. It's going to be a beaut when you get into yeah. it. Yeah, look at this. See. So underneath that, you see all the pins, these little eyes right here, that's what you look for. Those little eyes are, that tells you that underneath that is beautiful, beautiful burl. That's beautiful wood in there. So, so that's some lovely wood. That's a, that's a gall. This right here, this is what's called a gall when it has these round nubbins. And so that's got a different kind of look in it. 
and that produces a totally different kind of look to the wood. I love the smell of this. Yeah, and so, yeah, we, oh, this stuff so this will be a blast. Yeah. Well, we got the wood all loaded up. Go ahead and shoot it back there. We got it covered with a tarp and and uh, just uh, so it's under there and we're ready to roll and so yeah there's a chunk of it pretty good stuff yeah it's beautiful so um you know it's funny we uh it looks like a lot of wood but um most of it is is plain grain um just regular old yellow cedar without any really fancy burl in it um, there's a few pieces that have really awesome 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 burl and uh, they are absolutely exquisite so we've got some some boots in here that are going to be amazing <laughs> absolutely amazing if you've been waiting for a yellow cedar burl flute um, you really ought to give me a call uh, sooner than later so that I can pick you out a, uh, a piece of the really fine stuff. Um, there isn't as much as I'd hoped for, but I guess that's the way it is. There never is enough. Um, as we were talking to Reg, he said, you know, they're just not cutting this stuff. The stuff grows at 3,000 feet and uh, they're just not cutting the yellow cedar burl anymore, which is why that wood's just not available and um, they uh, he's been looking at this stash of wood for a lot of years you know I don't know how many years 15 yeah, he said at least 10 yeah at least, least 10 at least 10 years maybe more yeah. that he's been kind of eyeballing this this wood the only reason we got this wood now was a, a really a freak uh, opportunity that we got it the guy who owned the wood um, a few days ago um, is uh, unfortunately uh, got a an addiction problem and um, I'm sorry and so he uh, he needed to uh, uh, get the wood out of his father's home and um, and so his uh, his father kind of given him an ultimatum to, uh, to get the wood out and and we just happened to come along at the right time with an offer that he accepted and so we have the wood <laughs> and I'm thrilled it is amazing so uh, you know again I just uh, I can't believe it this stuff is is like gold on flutes it's just um, it is so incredibly beautiful the smell the aroma that this yellow cedar burl produces is just exquisite uh, it, and it lasts for a long long time in fact I've never um, seen a flute that it disappeared on uh, it just produces this beautiful beautiful aroma that when you play an instrument uh, it, it continues to fill the room with this beautiful aroma and so um, you know, I just, I can't say enough of positive about yellow cedar burl as a flute wood. Um, I just love it. Anyways, I'm thrilled. We got the yellow cedar burl. We have it in the vehicle. We're on our way home now. Now it's a matter of getting it uh, um, back into the United States uh, from Canada. And so that's, uh, that's our journey now. We're heading for the, uh, the ferry terminal. We're hoping to catch a 2 o'clock or 2.30 boat. And uh, that would put us uh, back in the United States at a fairly reasonable time tonight, which would be nice. So, anyways, the uh, adventure continues. This is a town of Langdale.
can't get over that ferry. <laughs> That's Bubba and his brother Bubba. Yeah. <laughs> Man, they probably own the island, though, that they're coming off of. That was the most worth the whole damn trip, right there. <laughs> no kidding, right? Just coming through the U.S. border, and we just got waved right on through. And so we're uh, heading home. And, uh, pretty excited to get home and work on this wood. So it's uh, it's good to be back on U.S. soil. I love Canada and our brothers and sisters to the north, but I gotta say that I love the good old USA. I truly do. I love uh, I love the United States. And, uh, it is always uh, something I'm grateful to come back to and. Turn home and have the freedoms. Recognize the uh, recognize the freedoms that we enjoy here. I know that we all have our political differences, but thank goodness that we can exercise our political differences. My uh, very dear friend Ken Bush here is uh, a uh, moderate. Democrat. I'm a moderate Republican. He and I have had some wonderful debates over the years, and uh, they've been, always been kind and gentle debates, and that's one of the things that I love about our country, is that, uh, is that we can have great discussions, and we do have the freedom of speech. I'm in, brother. Yep. <laughs> so... Kent, so what do you say? A day of great adventures, found some good wood, met some good people. It's just been fantastic being with my bud. Yeah. yeah. So we'll say goodbye and uh, we'll see you in the shop. Yeah, <laughs> there's the passport. <laughs> see y'all later. Low battery. Look at that. <laughs>